Now, to commemorate the proceedings. Founded in 2000 by our promoter, Dr. Devi Prasad Shetty, who has over 30 years of medical experience, including being a cardiac surgeon. Narayana Rudhyalaya Limited is one of India's leading private healthcare service providers, operating a chain of multi-speciality, tertiary and primary healthcare facilities. It has a network of 23 hospitals, eight heart care centers, and 24 primary care facilities across a total of 31 cities, towns, and villages in India with a potential capacity of up to 6,602 beds. In financial year 2015, its facilities and provided care to over 1.97 million patients. It is headquartered in Bengaluru and operates a national network of hospitals in India with a particularly strong network and presence in the southern state of Karnataka and Eastern India, as well as emerging presence in the Western and Central parts of India. To tell us a little more about the company and its achievements, we have with us here today a glittering array of dignitaries from Narayana Rudayalaya Limited, representing some of the stalwarts in their respective fields. We also have luminaries from the world of investment banking and capital markets. It is now my pleasure to invite them all to the dais and to welcome them with a bouquet of flowers. Firstly, the Chairman and Executive Director, Dr. Devi Setti. We welcome you, sir, with a bouquet of flowers. <clears throat> Padma Shri Dr. Devi Shetty is a cardiac surgeon with over 30 years of experience after completing his MBBS from the University of Mysore in 1978, he registered with the Karnataka Medical Council in 1979. He received a master's degree in surgery from the University of Mysore and in 2009 was granted a fellowship from the Royal College of Surgeons of England. He founded the company in the year 2000, initiated the concept of micro health insurance scheme in Karnataka. This eventually led to the Karnataka government implementing the Yeshwini scheme, a micro health insurance scheme for rural farmers. He is the recipient of a number of awards and honors, most noteworthy being the Padma Shri and the Padma Bhushan Award in 2003 and 2012, respectively. He is also the recipient of the Raj, Rajotsava Award in 2002. And of course, he's been credited and honored by many gatherings on several occasions with several awards and accolades. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Dr. Devi Shetty. <laughs> Dr. Ashutosh Raghuvanshi the CEO and Managing Director, Narayana Rudayalaya Limited. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you, you too, sir, with the bouquet of flowers. Dr. Ashutosh Raghuvanshi is a, also a cardiac surgeon with an overall experience of over 25 years. He's been part of the growth story of the company since its early days. After completing his post-graduation in cardiac surgery from the University of Mumbai, after completing his MBBS and MS in general surgery, he worked at leading hospitals like the Balabhai Nanavati Hospital, Breach Candy Hospital and Research Center, Apollo Hospitals in Chennai, and Manipal Heart Foundation in Bengaluru. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Ashutosh Raghuvanshi. <laughs> We'd also like to invite on the dais Mr. Kesavan Venugopalan, the CFO Narayana Rudayalaya Limited. We welcome you too, sir, with a bouquet of flowers. And representing the book running lead managers, we have with us joining on the days, Mr. Dharmesh Mehta from Axis Capital Limited. We welcome you too, sir, with a bouquet of flowers. 
Mr. Venkat Raghavan S. from IDFC. Welcome, sir. Mr. Ashwin Pai from Jefferies India Private Limited. Welcome, sir. And, ladies and gentlemen, the host for today, Mr. V. Balasubramaniam, the Chief Business Officer of Bombay Stock Exchange. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. V. Balasubramaniam. And to mark an auspicious beginning, I invite all our distinguished guests on the dais to kindly proceed down to light the traditional lamp. As a special request, may I also invite Mrs. Shakuntala Shetty to join them, along with board member and Chief chairman and managing director, Biocon Limited, Kiran Mazumdar Shaw. We invoke the blessings of the Almighty to be with us here and with Narayana Rudayalia Limited. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And now, to commemorate the proceedings, let me invite Mr. Dharmesh Mehta from Axis Capital to address this gathering. Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Axis Capital and the entire syndicate, I take this opportunity to congratulate Dr. Devi Shetty and the entire management of Narayana Rudalaya for this marquee IPO, the largest by hospital chain in India, and its remarkable success. It was an absolute honor to be associated with Dr. Shetty, a man with great mission, vision, and as I say, the man with the hands of God. We at Access Capital are extremely delighted to bring to the market a unique healthcare service provider with laser sharp focus on quality healthcare at affordable and transparent pricing. I would like to congratulate Dr. Shetty and Dr. Raghuvanshi and the team for creating this unique business model. The IPO, as you all know, was launched amidst challenging market conditions against the backdrop of the US Fed meeting and lowering of India's GDP outlook. Despite that, we had the overall book covered around 8.7 times and all the marquee names in the anchor book. And it has been reiterated that there is no dearth of quality investors for a marquee company and a high quality promoter. There was a robust response from the investor across categories with the QIP covered 24.4 times, HNI almost four times and retail two times. I would also like to compliment the entire IPO team led by Dr. Devi Shetty, Dr. Ashuto Shaguvanshi, Viren Shetty, Keswan Venugopal and Deban Shush Sarkar who did a fantastic job of meeting investors tirelessly and we have not given you any respite I know. People already trust him with their hearts, and now it's the time people are going to trust him with their money. So, I, will, on the behalf, I wish the management of Narayan Rudalaya the very best for the time to come, and for them the journey has just started. All the very best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And now, let me invite Dr. Devi Shetty, the Chairman and Executive Director, Narayan Rudalaya, to share a few words with us. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to repeat my uh, 
often repeated statement that charity cannot be scalable, whereas good business principles can be scalable. We believe that India will become the first country in the world to dissociate healthcare from affluence. India will prove to the world that the wealth of the nation has nothing to do with the quality of healthcare its citizens can enjoy. Why I am optimistic it will happen? It will happen because our government is very positive in terms of policy changes to make this happen. Why is it important for the government to bring about these radical changes? It's important because India has to offer health care to the underprivileged. India has to offer health care to the growing elderly population. Along with that, India has to create millions and millions of jobs for the youth. And this can only happen by right policies on health care. Global health care and wellness industry today is a $4 trillion industry. It is the second largest industry in the world. And with the right kind of policies, it can be the driver of the economy of the 21st century. For all this transformation to happen, first of all, India needs to create 3 million new beds. Who's going to create those beds? Governments do not have the right policies to create those beds or the resources. It is only going to be from private sector. Private sector in India is too small and too fragmented. And this is a great opportunity for organizations like ours who are used to building large-scale models. We want to concentrate initially on high-value tertiary care and make high-value tertiary care affordable to the common man of this country. In our journey, we have reached so far, it has happened predominantly because I am supported by my wonderful wife Shaku, my children, my family, and my great colleagues who stuck by me all through the journey of supporting all my crazy dreams of changing the world, our investors who stood by us, and our long-term board members, Kiran, Dinesh, and the bankers, and various governments who have gone out of the way to support us in terms of giving us uh, special uh, concessions and uh, preferences and uh, participation in PPP models and various other uh, ways. All this wouldn't have happened without the support of the government and all our well wishes from the media. And I just want to end my talk giving a very clear message that the world's greatest problems are also world's greatest business opportunities. And only business solutions can solve the problem of global poverty. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm looking forward to working with you to make this world a better place to live in. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Devi Shetty. Let me now invite Dr. Ashutosh Raghuvanshi, Managing Director and CEO, Narayana Rudeyalaya, to share a few words with us. Distinguished guests and members of the media, it, a very good morning to all of you. On behalf of entire Narayan Hridayalaya family, I wish to express my heartfelt gratitude for all of you to come here early in the morning. It is truly a very momentous occasion for our company in this long journey which we have taken in last 15 years. The listing of companies' shares on the stock exchange is a significant milestone in the history of our company. Narayana Hidayale is a company with a difference, which needs to be viewed by the investors as a very unique business model, which is aligned to the needs of the society. The Indian healthcare services is large, underpenetrated market opportunity with 3.4 billion treatments annually and 9.8 million deaths annually. There is a large unaddressed market with seven beds per 10,000 people. Rising income levels and life expectancy will increase demand for healthcare services. Increasing healthcare insurance coverage will also stimulate demand, which currently stands at only about 17% of the population. The demand is geared towards affordable treatment for non-communicable disease, and that's what we are poised to address. 
Narayana Hidyale offers affordable health care at the highest possible clinical standards and is a very recognized brand for clinical excellence. It has strong brand equity amongst the patients, healthcare professionals, uh, and, and the uh, authorities. Uh, we have an experienced management team which has proven its uh, uh, credentials of execution and with multiple levels of growth and profitability drivers, Narayana Hidyale is going to continue to grow with the asset right model. Currently, we have uh, presence in, in uh, several areas. However, two clusters where we have preeminent position are Karnataka and Eastern India. We will strengthen these clusters and we will continue to grow in Western and Central India as well. Uh, today, we proudly and happily welcome a new set of investors to our family of 11,650 employees and 2,563 consultants and student doctors who treat more than 20 lakh patients. We shall continue to create value for the stakeholders, including our existing PE investors who have stood by us for a long time and have helped us to reach this level. I would like to express my thanks to all the support our investors from JP Morgan and Pinebridge have provided to us in last eight years and CDC in last one and a half years. On behalf of Narayana Hidyale, I would like to thank my entire team and all those who helped us to make this possible. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you Dr. Raghuvanshi. I would now like to call upon Mr. V. Balasubramaniam, the Chief Business Officer of Bombay Stock Exchange, to address us. A very good morning to everyone present here. As I welcome you all to this listing ceremony of BSE's newest member, Narayana Rudayal Vemait. I welcome all of you to the BSC International Convention Hall for this listing ceremony. I would like to extend hearty congratulations to the Narayana Rudayal family. I welcome Dr. Devi Prasad Shetty, uh, Srimati Shakuntala Shetty, Dr. Ashutosh Raghuvanshi, uh, Mr. Viren Shetty, Ashwin Pai, Dharmesh Mehta, and Mr. Venu Gopalan, and, all, and uh, all the and Mr. Venkat Raghavan, and all the uh, distinguished members of the diocese. Most of you present here are aware that BSE was established in 1875, and this year in July, our great institution actually com successfully completed 140 years. And uh, this year we have been actually celebrating this with a series of events, which, which basically again, on this Sunday we are doing a BSE bull run, which is again one more step towards the healthcare, in the sense that we want to get people to be more active in such a busy city like Bombay. Uh, uh, for me, uh, this is actually actually a very joyous occasion after hearing Dr. Devi Shetty and his plans and the kind of noble intentions with which he started Narayan Radhaile and I think he has already achieved some milestones towards this journey. And uh, let me also uh, welcome the merchant bankers for this IPO, Access Capital, IDFC Securities and Jefferies India. Uh, I, let me just give you a brief background on this particular uh, company, incorporated in 2000, Narayan Erdhrale, which is headquartered in Bangalore, is one of the leading private healthcare service providers in India. They operate through a chain of multi-speciality, tertiary and primary healthcare facilities. It hospitals provide services in the areas of cardiac surgery, cardiology, clinical nutrition and diabetes, facial surgery, dental science, dermatology, cosmetology, ENT, and many others. And uh, they entered the primary market on December 17 uh, with a price band of about 240 to 250 rupees per share. And its IPO was oversubscribed by almost 6.38 times, with the retail category oversubscribed by about 1.85 times. And the uh, non institutional category at 3.57 times, and QOB category by 24.43 times. And uh, this issue is, uh, with this issue, now the final uh, price of 250 rupees per share at which the shares were allotted, the total issue size allotted was about 614 crores. And uh, in this IPO, almost 1,91,000 new retail investors have uh, participated in this IPO. 
So obviously, this is uh, the new set of investors. We look forward to much better performance by Narayan Radharale, and I'm sure uh, you will definitely follow this inquiry because what I'm told is that from between FY11 and 2015, the Narayan Radharale revenues have grown on a compounded annual growth rate of almost 30%, while EBITDA grew at a compounded growth of about 23%. Uh, so in that sense, uh, uh, looking at this trajectory, I'm sure that the investors will look at uh, uh, some benefits to come from this particular issue. Uh, incidentally, uh, though we are also referred as the first exchange, we also this year turned to become the fastest exchange in the whole world with the technology uh, order response time of something close to about six microseconds. So uh, in some sense, I'm sure that uh, this company will adhere to the highest standard of transparency and corporate governance standards. And uh, today, BSE obviously boasts of the largest number of listed companies. And with Narayan Nidharalai joining as our latest member, uh, I once again congratulate the entire team of Narayan Nidharalai and look forward to many years of collaboration with them. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And now as the moment draws near, may I request Mr. V. Balasubramaniam, BSc, to present a special memento to Dr. Devi Shetty, Chairman and, Manage and Executive Director, Narayana Rudayalaya. May I request Mr. V. Balasubramaniam from BSE to also present a special memento to Dr. Ashutosh Raghuvanshi, CEO, Managing Director and CEO, Narayana Rudeyalaya. Yes, Mr. Uh, v. Balasubramaniam to present another memento to Mr. Viren Shetty, the Executive Director of Narayana Rudeyalaya. May I request Mr. V. Balasubramaniam to present a special, special memento to Mr. K. Savan Venugopalan, the Chief Financial Officer, Narayana Rudeyalaya. <laughs> Mr. Balasubramaniam, a few more, please. May I request you to present a special memento to our bankers, Axis Bank, Mr. Dharmesh Mehta. From IDFC, Mr. Venkat Raghavan. And from Jeffries, Mr. Ashwin Pai. May now, thank you, uh, Mr. Bal Subramaniam. May I now request Dr. Devi Shetty from uh, uh, Nara and uh, from Narayan Rudyalia to present a special memento to Mr. V. Balasubramaniam from the BSC. <laughs> May I request Dr. Ashutosh Raghuvanshi to present a memento to Mr. Dharmesh Mehta from Axis Capital. May I request Dr. Ashutosh Raghuvanshi to continue doing the honors and present a memento to Venkat Raghavan S. from IDFC. <laughs> Our next memento goes out to Mr. Ashwin Pai from Jefferies, India Private Limited. We'd also like to present mementos to our investors. J.P. Morgan, Mr. James Bangart. From Pinebridge, Mr. Harjit Bhatia. <laughs> and from CDC, Mr. Srinivasan Nagarajan.
May I request Dr. Ashutosh Raghavanshi to continue doing the honors and present mementos to our legal counsels, a representative from AZB and Partners. They, yeah, no, okay, we'll carry on. And to a representative of Action Partners LLP, they are also our legal partners, legal counsels, Khetan and Company. Okay, we don't have anyone from there. To our auditors, BSR and Company LLP. We'd like to uh, present a memento to Mr. Francis Fernandez from our registrars, Carvey Computer Share, Private Limited. <laughs> and to our printers, a special memento to our printers. Do we have a representative from our printers here? Okay. And uh, Dr. Ashutosh Raghuvanshi will now present a special memento to Mr. V. Subramanian from Ad Factors Advertising and PR. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Venkat Raghavan S. from IDFC will say a few words. I think uh, we are behind schedule already, but uh, welcome to all of you here. Uh, it gives me great pleasure to congratulate uh, Narana Riyadala for a successful listing. Uh, it's been a pleasure working with uh, NH and its team over the last uh, six to eight months. And uh, I mean, it's been great that they've given us an opportunity to work with them. And uh, we wish them all the best in the future. Thank you. May I request Mr. Ashwin Pai to also say a few words? Uh, thank you very much. Um, firstly, I'd like to thank uh, the shareholders and the board for giving us, uh, Access and IDFC, the opportunity to work on this uh, on the IPO. Uh, I know we're running behind schedule, so I'll keep this extremely short. Um, you know, we'd, uh, this has been one of the most talented, motivated, and dedicated management teams um, that we've worked with in the past. Um, the shareholders, including um, Pinebridge, uh, CDC and JP Morgan have built an incredible company and we very much look forward to continuing to support your growth in this new and exciting chapter uh, as a publicly listed company. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have a countdown happening very shortly and this is the momentous occasion for the launch of Narayana Rudhyalaya Limited at the Bombay Stock Exchange. May I request everyone to count down along with me once the timer goes to 10. On the count, please. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Congratulations. Narayana Rudhyalaya Limited is now officially listed on the Bombay Stock Exchange. We can have a few more ringing of the gong. May I request Mr. Kesavan Venugopalan, the Chief Financial Officer from Narayana Rudhyalaya Limited, to propose a vote of thanks. I think there's no tension of time now. So, distinguished guests and members of the media, uh, very good morning to all of you. And uh, on behalf of the entire uh, Narana Hidyalaya team, I wish to express my heartfelt gratitude to everyone in the audience and others who helped us complete the process of the initial public offering and make our listing dream a reality. An IPO heralds a new chapter in the lifetime of the company, and uh, today is the day to remember. And on this occasion, we need to acknowledge those who have been a part of this memorable journey. At the outset, a special thanks to the Bombay Stock Exchange team for helping us complete all the listing formalities. 
and helping us mark this momentous occasion in the iconic International Convention Hall. On this occasion, let me thank the uh, regulators, the Registrar of Companies, the Stock Exchanges, our esteemed Board of Directors, existing PE investors, the BRLMs, Axis Capital Limited, IDFC Securities Limited and Jefferies India Private Limited, our legal counsels, our auditors, the bankers to the company, the registrars and syndicate bankers to the IPO, the printers and the communication agency and our core NH team. We wish to express our heartfelt gratitude to the new set of investors who join our family. We wish to thank all our anchor investors and others in the QIB, non-institutional investors and retail investor categories. Our strategy is focused to create a value for stakeholders and shareholders. We shall adhere to corporate governance norms and our core values, vision and mission. Once again, we thank you for all gracing this wonderful occasion and being a part of our joy. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, sir, for that lovely word of thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, you're kindly invited to tea and snacks. Thank you.